Acceleration happens when velocity changes over the time. Acceleration happens when object is speed up. Uh, so, how can we how can we write it? One is instantaneous. Instantaneous acceleration, one is average um, average acceleration. Instantaneous acceleration is acceleration is equal to uh, limit delta t goes to 0 delta v over delta t. And average acceleration is simply this. So, average acceleration is acceleration is equal to delta v over delta t. When you talk about delta v over delta t, we are talking about actually velocity final minus velocity initial over t final minus t initial. This, let me give you an example, uh, so that it does make sense. Uh, so, an object, let us say an object, uh, consider an object, a car, initial velocity is 0 and final velocity is final velocity is 75 kilometer per hour. Okay? All right. So, now we are trying to understand and then find the initial velocity is 0 kilometer per hour. All right. We are trying to understand what would be the acceleration. Okay. Uh, we can directly find the acceleration and that is not a big deal V f minus V i and T f minus T i and that would be 75 kilometer per hour uh, that is final velocity minus initial velocity over let us say it happens in 5 second. Okay. The object changes from 0 kilometer per hour to 75 kilometer per hour in 5 second. So, then initial time is 0 and final time final time is 5. So, 5 second minus 0 second. So, acceleration is um, 5 goes to 75 15. So, 15 kilometer per hour per second or we can write it acceleration is 15 kilometer per hour second. Okay, we can write it like this or better, better is to convert it to SI unit. So, we can convert 75 kilometer to hour to SI unit. So, let us do it 75 kilometer per hour to SI unit. So, we have a meter and we have a kilometer and we have an hour and we have a second. So, uh, no we have kilometer down stairs because we want kilometer kilometers cancel. 1 kilometer is 1000 meter and 1 hour is 3600 zero zero second. Kilometer kilometer cancel, hour hour cancel 20.83 meter per second. Now, let us find the acceleration. Acceleration is velocity final minus velocity initial t final minus t initial and that would be 20.83 minus zero ration is 4.2 meter per second is or per second is equal to 4.2 meter per second per second. All right, and 75 kilometer per hour is equivalent to 20.83 meter per second. Okay, so far so good. Now, what we'll do is let's see the car we are going to consider 5 scenario 4, four scenario let us say the same car is right here at t is equal to 0. The same car is now right here at location 2 t is equal to 1. The same car is now right here okay, and the t is equal to I do not know 2 second this is second this is second this is second and the same car is right here and t is equal to 5 second. We want to find the velocity here, we want to find the velocity here, we want to find the velocity here, we want to find the velocity here. We want to find the average acceleration here, average acceleration here, average acceleration here, average acceleration here. 0 uh, kilometer per hour, velocity is 15 kilometer per hour, velocity is 30 kilometer per hour and velocity is 75 kilometer per hour. Okay. 
how do I get zero kilometer per hour? Because the car at rest was zero kilometer per hour. All right. So how do I get this one? Fifteen kilometer per hour because every second, because every second is accelerate. That's what it means. Every second, every second is accelerate. Every second is every second is accelerate fifteen kilometer per hour. Okay. All right. After fifteen kilometer per hour, so this is or we can use the formula. So let's use the formula. So velocity final is equal to velocity initial plus a t and that is from our reference table. So then velocity initial is 0 because velocity initial is 0. So this is 0. So velocity final is um, acceleration we already found the acceleration and that is 15 kilometer per hour per second. So 15 kilometer per hour per second times is we are talking about the one second after one second, one second, second second cancel. So, this is 15 kilometer per hour and that is what we wrote. Now, let us verify this one. Velocity final is equal to velocity initial plus a t. Velocity initial is 0. So, velocity final initial is 0. Velocity final is a, a is 15 kilometer per hour per second and we are talking about 2 seconds. So, 2 seconds, second second cancel 15 times 2 30 kilometer per hour check. Now, let us verify this one velocity final is equal to velocity initial plus a t velocity initial is 0 velocity initial is 0. So, velocity final is of course, a is 15 kilometer per hour per second times the time is 5 second. So, 5 second 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 cancel velocity final 15 times 5 is 75 kilometer per hour kilometer per hour. So, if we check ok good now we can erase this. So, we have nice looks nice and neat ok. All right. So, this is what happening now. Now, what is the average acceleration? Average acceleration is 15 kilometer per hour per second kilometer per hour per second uh, 15 kilometer per hour per second and and 15 kilometer per hour per hour per second and 15 kilometer per hour per second per hour per second now which is equivalent to 4.2 meter per second is square 4.2 meter per second is square 4.2 meter per second is square and 4.2 meter per second is square. They are the two same thing. Now, let us prove that. So, 15 kilometer per hour uh, per second per second is equal to 4 meter per second per second. How is that? Okay, let us see. So, let us see 15 kilometer let us let us uh, let us do it here. So, 15 kilometer per hour per second and then put one over here. Okay? So, now you are going to write A over B over C over D is equal to A over B times D over C which is A D over B C. Okay, good. So, 15 kilometer over hour times 1 over second. Okay? Now, so far so good. So, 15 kilometer hour second now, we want to convert kilometer to meter. So, kilometer and meter and we are going to convert hour to second. So, we are going to write uh, hour and second. So, 1 kilometer is 1000 and 1 hour is 3600. So, notice what happened kilometer, kilometer cancel, hour, hour cancel. So, we have 15 times we have 1000 we have that is it. And then what unit we have meter and on the bottom we have what unit left second and second second is square and 3 6 0 0. So, now if we take our calculator then 1 5 0 0 0 uh, divided by 3 6 0 0 and that would be 4.2. 4.2 meter per second square. So, hopefully that makes sense. Now, 
last thing we're going to do is this. We're going to consider a fourth scenario to verify the acceleration fourth scenario. Fourth scenario to verify the acceleration. Scenario one, you have a car moves with two meter per second and final velocity is four meter per second, double. Scenario one. Scenario two, car moves with um, four meter per second end up with two meter per second. Scenario three, reverse the direction car moves with uh, two meter per second and then four meter per second. The car scenario four the car uh, moves with um, 4 meter per second and then 2 meter per second. All right, let us find the acceleration. Okay. Acceleration for this one would be acceleration is uh, this is your everything, let us say this is 1 second, this is 1 second, the whole trip is 1 second. 1 second and 1 second. Okay? All right. So, then your v initial is 2 uh, meter per second, your v final is 4 meter per second, your t initial is 0, your t final is uh, 1 second. Okay? So, let us find uh, v final 4 minus v initial 2, t final 1 minus t initial 0. So, 4, uh, so 2 divided by 1, so it is 2. So, acceleration is 2 meter per second square. All right, let us go. So, this is positive acceleration, positive acceleration or we can say positive acceleration. Now, acceleration is velocity final, velocity final is 2, velocity initial is 4 and 1 minus 0. So, acceleration is negative 2. So, acceleration is negative, negative acceleration. Okay. That will have to make sense. We are going to explain that in a second. So, acceleration is V final minus V initial T final minus T initial. V final, okay. so V, this is V initial, this is V final. So, V uh, hi. So, v final is 4, uh, v initial is 2 and this is 1. So, then this is just 2 meter per second. So, acceleration is, uh, is positive. Acceleration over here v f minus v i t f minus t i. So, v f is this is v, uh, v initial, this is V final. Oh, there is a mistake being made over here. Um, v final, V final is uh, negative 4 and V initial is because this is west and this is a vector. Yeah. Uh, so, this is minus, this is uh, this minus, this minus, this is minus. So, these are vector, these are west, these are west. So, this is negative. So, minus 4 minus uh, minus 2, 1 minus 0. So, minus 4 plus 2 over 1. So, this is of course, minus 2. So, acceleration is acceleration is negative. Okay acceleration is negative. So, let me see over here. So, this is uh, velocity initial and this is velocity final. Velocity final is negative 2 minus minus 4 divided by 1 minus 0. So, minus 2 plus 4 divided by 1. So, that is 2 meter per second square. 
So, this is positive. So, let us see whether that makes sense. Uh, let us use the blue. When object is speed up, then the velocity and acceleration has to be at the same direction. Is that right? Okay. So, velocity is at the east and acceleration is positive. So, acceleration is also east. If that's happened, object is speeding up. Is this a speed up? Yes. A speed up. Good. The velocity is of course, to the east. However, acceleration is to the west. Acceler how do we know acceleration to the west? Negative, negative mean west. If velocity and acceleration are different direction, then objects slow down. Is this object slow down? Yes, it is. Now, scenario number 3. Now, since this is going to the opposite direction, uh, then uh, we will see uh, the different thing happening. Uh, object, uh, uh, object velocity, uh, so object velocity is to the west and object acceleration, this is west, object acceleration is also to the west. If that is happen, object is speed up. Is this object is speed up? Yeah, this is 2, this is 4, so it is speed up. Is this object is speed up? Well, wait a minute. We have to do the anal uh, to analysis. So velocity is to the west, and acceleration is to the east. Acceleration is to the east. If velocity and acceleration vector are opposite direction, then objects slow down. Is this object slowing down? Yeah, this is four, and this is two. Of course, slowing down. The last, I want to talk about two things. One is, if velocity is zero, can acceleration has to be zero? No. For example, if I throw this marker to the air, velocity at the top is zero, but acceleration is not. Acceleration at the top is negative 9.8 meter per second square. But that's the vertical motion. We have not talked about it. Let's talk about this car. This car is uh, the initial velocity, not this car. Let us talk about the initial the car before. Uh, the velocity is 0 and velocity is 75, V final is 75 kilometer per hour per second and it takes 5 seconds. All right. What is the velocity at the beginning? Velocity is 0, but what is the average acceleration? Average acceleration is 15. Right here, average acceleration is 15, 15 kilometer per hour every second. So, if velocity is 0, acceleration does not have to be 0. That is what happens when you put uh, your, uh, your foot uh, on, a, on a gas of the car. Uh, the car velocity is 0, but acceleration is not 0. Okay. Other scenario, if the car velocity is uh, like 100 meter per second, uh, does acceleration has to be 0? No, of course not. Constant velocity means no acceleration. If the car moves with 100 meter per second forever, then there is no acceleration. 